meeting of Warwick District Council Licensing and Regulatory Committee on Wednesday, the 24th of July, 2023. Thank you for attending or watching online. I'm Councillor Kathleen Gorman, Chair of the Committee. Please be aware that this meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded to the Council's YouTube channel in due course. Details of how the recordings are stored and how long they're retained for are available via the Council's website. Everyone's familiar with the emergency procedure. So apologies, I have Councillors Barton, Brown, King, Rosu and Roberts will try and make it. Are there any other apologies? Are there any declarations of interest? Okay, that's a no. So we're doing the minutes of the Licensing and Regulatory Committee. Um, so it's the minutes of the meeting held on the 29th of May 2024. Can I have a proposal, please? Councillor Lookhurst and seconder. Councillor Drake. Thank you. All in favour? Okay. Ramos, thank you. Right, and then the panel from the 18th of April 2024, which was Councillors Barton, Metesky and Sison. Can I have a proposal, please? Councillor Sison, thank you. And the seconder, uh, Councillor Luckhurst, all in favour? Thank you. Thank you, Ramos. And then the, the panel on the 28th of May 2024, which was Councillors Barton, Gifford and myself. Thank you, Councillor Gifford and I and Councillor Luckers. Thank you for seconding. All in favour? Thank you. Okay, so the next item is the statutory review of gambling policy. Um, it's a request for public consultation. I'm going to hand over to Officer Jack Henson to read his report. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chair, and thank you very much to the committee for attending today's committee hearing. The purpose of a report is to advise members of a licensed and registered committee of a statutory requirement to review the council's gambling policy and to inform them of the proposed schedule for the meeting and its legal requirements. The recommendations that are being suggested is that the licensed and registered committee support the proposed gambling policy as set out in Appendix 1 to the policy of consultations. The, also, the second recommendation is the licensing regulatory committee supports public consultation on the proposed policy taking place between the 5th of August 2024 and the 9th of September 2024. As per the patch you have been given, the reasons for these recommendations are within your patch. I'm open to asking any questions from the committee regarding these recommendations. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Councillor Sison? As a matter of interest, do we have to do it now? It's just that between the 5th of August and the 9th of September, lots of people often go away, particularly if they've got children at school. And so even people working for statutory authorities that we will be consulting with, uh, the, the relevant people may not be around. But is it a question of the timetable to get it all done in time, ultimately? Or can we postpone it to the September-October consultation? Mr Henson, do you want to take this? Thank you very much, Councillor Sison, for your question. It is a question that has been raised prior to this meeting. Um, and unfortunately, it is time constraints in the fact that getting this out to public consultation <coughs> in front of the full cabinet hits the deadline of December and the public the actual policy needs to be reviewed before January 2025 as the current policy lapses in January 2025. Just to say that's okay given the minimal alterations that have been made to the policy the proposed policy yeah okay thanks. Any other questions? Councillor Harrison. Um, just on a note is that um, obviously it's on the assumption the Gambling Act 2005 hasn't actually changed 
um, Brussels is going to change the government. And th this is then followed for three years. Uh, in paragraph 1.11, it says, it's going to say if legislation does change. Um, no, um, during the lifetime of the adopted policy, the authority can review. What's the process? For, does it have to, does it just to amend it or does it have to go through consultation? Is this kind of out of interest? Councillor, it will be exactly as what we're doing now. So if there were any changes we needed to make, we'd bring it before you and then we'd go out for public consultation. Anyone else have anything they want to add to ask? So we need a proposal for this. Anyone like to? Okay, um, Councillor Tyson. Armstrong, are you seconding that? Okay, all in favour? Okay, that's unanimous. Okay, so the next item is to consider resolving that the public and press be excluded from the meeting for the reasons set out on the agenda. Can I have a proposal and second for this, please? Okay. Councillor Dre, um, Councillor Lockhurst, are you seconding? Thank you. All in favour? Thank you. 